But yeah, let me test this out real quick. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Okay, let's go. Yo, I'm sorry bro, my movement is kinda wild right now bro, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I'm sorry bro, I'm sorry <laughs> Bro He's like fighting Leo Fast step right duck. Like low key, Brian can do much about it besides like uh, <clears throat> down for the one. Like that? Woo! Yeah, like that, right? Oh. Yes. No, you're right, you're right. <clears throat> just like uh just like uh, what happens right there. Sometimes you just have to disrespect Brian with uh with jabs and quick moves and stuff like that. But you need balls to do that because <laughs> if you get counter hit bro it's it's your it's your whole life. Nice. 
Nice. There goes my life bar, man. Nice. That was nice. Clean. Wow. Why did I press there, man? Down back one plus two buck. No duck. Up for two, buck two. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Too late. <clears throat> Bro. <clears throat> Sus step right, duck. So good against Brian, man. So good. But the thing is, uh, Brian has really good, uh, really good uh, homing moves. Ooh, such step duck. <coughs> it just feels too good to to pull it off, man. <coughs> so to pass out. Big Omega, bro. Nice, nice, nice. He knows, he knows. Of course he knows. Well played. Damn, that was fast. Yo, who just followed me? Green set fox. I don't know how to. Oh, that's a host. Thank you, bro. Thank you for the host. I appreciate that. Yeah, it definitely need uh, need more support, and um, I appreciate that we have someone like you who contributes to that. So thank you. Ooh. Nice. Well played. Sheesh. That was kind of free, not gonna lie. That was kind of... Well played, bro. GG's. Round one. Fight. We have a Huarang. I feel like I know this matchup, like, almost by heart. Because of BTS. Oh, nice. Yeah, you're right. It's nothing wrong with that. But if you if you want if you have like a style like this, 
<clears throat> you need to be uh your defense needs to be like if you're going for this kind of style your defense needs to be like uh, almost perfect you know and uh, I'm not there yet to be honest Yeah, it's really laggy right now. Once you solidify your style, you will be more ready in tournaments. That's the difference. <clears throat> mm. Shit, I pressed rematch. Oh, bro, this lag, bro. Fuck. Yeah, he, he had to. Ra he had to launch. He had to launch. Please beef. Please beef. Oh, nice. He refuses. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Oof. I was sick. That was not sick. Nice. Yo, I think that was my last one, man. I'm very, I'm getting tired right now. Shout out to everyone uh, that was in the chat, everyone who followed the stream. Thank you, guys. And uh, see you in the next one. I might stream um, next week. Yeah, next week I might, I might stream in the weekend. So, yeah, see you then. Peace out. So, we're gonna do a quick match analysis on a Leo Mirror I played a couple of days ago. It was against Ayo Richie. Uh, Ayo Richie is a top Leo player from the UK. He streams quite fre frequently on Twitch too. So. I strongly su suggest that you go follow him if you don't. Um, yeah, so we decided to do a quick first to five. And not to spoil it, but I have to spoil it. You know, I lost the set quite convincingly. It was 4 1 for him. And, you know, I'm going to do a match analysis on one match. One match out of the five uh, matches. And. Shit, my math, my math is wrong. Uh, out of the six matches. And. Basically, the reason why I'm gonna do that is because all the matches looked identic identical, like I did the same mistakes over and over again. And uh, in this match analysis, I'm gonna focus on my mistakes and the things that I did that made me lose the, you know, the set basically. So, I hope that you guys enjoy this and I hope that you can learn from my mistakes. Without further ado, let's get straight into this. Okay, so I'm gonna stop quite a bit during uh, this match analysis. Okay, here we go. Boom. First mistake. Starting around with back 1 4. That's very risky. Very risky. And, um, yeah, I mean, not only starting around with such a slow move and such a, like, telegraphed string. On counter hit, I don't get anything really. So yeah, it's it's just not a good idea. I mean, back one four in neutral is generally uh, not a good idea anymore. I mean, it's not season one, you know. So <laughs> why even do it in the first place? But I still so sometimes I still use it to force a 50-50. But you know, back one four is not generally not really a good idea, in my opinion. Right? Okay. Nice jabs. 
Okay, you see this? You see this? Uh, <laughs> too much backdashing, right? That's a big mistake that a lot of low and mid-level players do in the neutral. It's too much backdashing. Like, the reason why it's bad is because you put yourself out of range to possibly punish things. You put yourself out of range to wave punish and block punish. So, it doesn't really... Yeah, it's not necessary, you know? Okay, that was a nice backdash from him. He could have uh, wave punished me. But look at this, look at this. You see? You see the range I'm at? I'm all the way back there. There's nothing I can really do, you know? Okay, nice. You see this? Again, like, that's what I mean. I put myself out of range to wave punish. One of the biggest mistakes that mid-level uh, mid players do. We put ourselves out of range for nothing, like. There's actually no need to backdash there. I could have uh, wave punished the uh, standing four, you know? You see? Okay. Again, again. Like, you see? I could have wave punished the uh, down three plus four. Okay, but now I'm looking for uh, a counter hit. I'm looking for a counter hit because I feel like uh, I need to make something happen. Here we go. Here, there's a counter hit. Nice. That was nice. Down one from him. Okay, down one into a uh, jab. It's really good because at this point he noticed that I like to retaliate with down for one a lot. So that's actually that's actually very smart from him. And down one into jab will always beat a 13 frame option because down one is only minus two right now. So. Yeah, it's it's a really good option right there. <coughs> I did one two into down for one. He tried to um, backswing blow out of that, but I was pl two plus. Actually, I could have done down one to beat him, but the thing is, I kept the life lead in mind, and I didn't want to do anything too big. I think it could have been a good idea. I'm not sure if Leo can step it. I need to check it out. But uh, down one could have ended the match, the I mean the round. But I did down for one, right? And yeah, I kept the life lead in mind. I was, I was trying to play smaller, so that's why I did only one down for one, and I got him out of uh, the back swing though. Okay, I tried to finish it with down for one again. He escaped it. Okay, now. I don't know how I got hit by that, but that was round right there. That was round. Okay, see, I got hit with the classic down back one, down back one into block two, and I deserve that wholeheartedly because I'm trying to retaliate too much with down for one man. That's like a big mistake that I that I usually do. When I don't when I don't know what to do, I just do down for one. It's like it's like my crutch, you know. It's like. Uh, <laughs> I depend too much on that move and it's getting me killed right here so yeah nice uh, well played <coughs> boom another mistake I started both rounds with attacks and right here I chose down for one you know Okay, you see this again? <laughs> uh, I'll I'll just keep repeating it, man. This is the biggest mistake that mid-level players do in the neutral. We just backdash too much for no reason. Like, why? Why am I backdashing out of? Why? Am, why am I so scared of? That's that's what I have to ask myself. What the fuck am I so scared of to backdash so much? Because right there, man, if I didn't backdash that much, I could have, uh, I could have possibly whiff punished him. You know, but right there, man, I just, I just gave away uh, too much space for no reason, and now I have to reset the neutral. Uh, you know, it's really, 
Yeah, yeah, it's really bad. It's really bad. Okay, down one into. Wait. Okay. Okay, I got the counter hit, but what I did there was not. That was not real. That was not real. Right? Down one. Uh, down for one, I mean, is plus seven on hit. Right? <clears throat> But then I, I sidestepped, I sidestepped, the plus 7 pretty much goes away, right, then I did down 1, that was not real, <laughs> but yeah, I still got it, and it always feels good to get, to get a counter hit down 1, okay, nice combo, big damage, nice, nice punish, okay, okay, that was also not real, because after my, uh, Wait, let me go back, let me go back. Let me go back. After one... After one four? That's also a huge mistake that I did right there. After one four... After one four... I... I forward dashed. See, I'm plus five. And I'm giving those frames away by forward dashing. I noticed that I, I can't do that a lot. <clears throat> it's like I don't expect people to retaliate, so I use my plus frames to create pressure, and it somewhat has become a uh, flow chart. Like, uh, yeah, something that I just rely on too much. But I have to keep in mind that not everyone plays the same way, so I have to switch it up too, you know? Right there. Those plus five goes away, right? And then I got the lucky counter hit. KO. Round three. Okay, round three. Okay, I didn't start with the attacks right there. For some reason. <laughs> good. That was good. See? That's exactly what I mean. That's exactly what I mean. Boom. That was a launch there. That was a launch, bro. But I'm too focused on backdashing. I repeat, that's the biggest... I mean, one of the biggest mistakes that mid-level players do in the neutral. We backdash too much, bro. That shit needs to stop, like, <laughs> for real. <clears throat> that was a launch. But yeah. Nice, nice sidewalk. Okay. CF1. Okay, boom. Beautiful counter hit. Boom. See, there, um, I had the life lead. There was actually no real reason to, to keep going right there because, you know, I had a pretty, I have a pretty chunky life lead right there. But he's at the wall, so in my head, I was like, you know what? Let me finish this. Uh, because he's at the wall and I pretty much have a nice little advantage right there. Let me do a uh, 4 2 but he thought ahead and did uh, a really nice wall jump. That was beautiful. I could have died badly right there. <laughs> okay, nice. I'm trying to finish it. Okay. Boom. That was uh <clears throat> I was too eager to finish it, so I did uh, a crouch jab. But I believe that I could have I could have uh I could have blocked the K and K1 plus 2 right, right here because you see my animation is already over. I could have stood up and blocked this mid. Boom. But I ate it. Uh, uh, I guess I expected the uh, KNK 3 plus 4, but since I don't really have the reflexes, <laughs> yeah, I thought, you know, let me just keep ducking. But that was beautiful. That was beautiful. And the was having 3 as Orki. Nice. Yeah, that was really bad, man. I didn't, um, I didn't need to. I didn't need to duck right there, but 
Okay, see, I started the round with attack again. Okay. Okay, punish. Okay. That's how I like to play. I like to dash up. Boom. I'm playing like like right there. That was really good. I'm sticking to him, you know. No need to backdash. No need to. And you see the difference, um, like with the other rounds. Let me go back. I'm sticking to him right now. That was that's pretty risky to dash up like that. But still, like I feel like it's still better than just backdashing away and uh, giving away too much space, giving away momentum, and all of that. So. Yeah, that's exactly how I need to play. Stick to your opponent, man. Just don't be afraid. If you eat a launch, then next time just make sure you block. <laughs> that's it, bro. <laughs> like, okay, see, that was very bad. That was very bad because backdashing too much is something I did again in this round. It's like I just forgot everything what happened in the last round. I just kept doing the same shit. Um, I started with the attacks again. Okay, so there I whip one back four. Mm. Okay, nice, nice uh, side step or sidewalk. On Oki, I try to do a uh, back one plus four. Okay, boom. But then after this, I did down one. That's a that's actually a bad idea because uh, for one it's not a real frame trap. For two, attacking after back um, one plus four is very risky. You can you can just move around it. So you know that's what I that's what I get right. Okay, that was nice. I caught his uh, sidewalk. Drop the Kenke combo. Uh, yeah, I didn't expect that move. Okay, you see it? here, yeah. We 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 are equal on life lead, so I probably should have pressed more. Nice. Nice, nice with punish. And that was... This... This was sick. This was sick, bro. This was really sick. Um... <clears throat> that was sick. You guys have no idea how sick this was, bro. <laughs> Beautiful. Well played, man. That was... Yeah. That was a... Actually, this set was really nice. It was very nice, it was refreshing playing uh, playing against uh, like good Leo players. It's always fun. The takeaway of this set was that backdashing too much is unnecessary and it kills the it kills the neutral. The other takeaway is um, you don't always have to reply to everything with down foot one or jab. You don't always have to. I could have used a, a lot more movement, like uh, side steps, side walk. I mean, yeah, man, GG's, and hopefully, you know, I can learn from this. I can learn from this.